The first time I met Brooke, we were in probably the seventh grade at Parkwood, and uh, I knew she was the prettiest girl in church, and I knew I had to get to know her a little bit. I just love him so much. He's my dream person. Um, and I'm just so excited. <laughs> From the moment I met you to when we started dating, I knew I wanted you in my life forever. Whether that be friends or a wife, but I was hoping for a wife. And of course, like always, I got what I wanted. You are everything I could wish for and more. I can't wait to see what the future holds for us in our marriage. I will try to be the best husband I can, I promise. I love you so much. Bryson, I can't believe this day is finally here. It feels like just yesterday I met you for the first time and immediately had the biggest crush on you. I've loved you for a very long time and my love grows for you every single day. You are my best friend and my biggest blessing. I can't wait to start this new journey with you and I'm so excited to see what God has in store for our marriage and to make a life full of memories together. I promise to always be there for you and to love you unconditionally. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm so proud of you and so thankful to call you my husband. I love you today, tomorrow, and more and more every day. I'll see you at the altar. Father, we thank you so much for Brooke and Bryson. Lord, I love Brooke like she's my own daughter. And Rocky and Cindy have shared the same with Bryson. Angie and I could not have asked for a better daughter-in-law. And so, Lord, as they exchange their vows, exchange their bands, as they walk into this ceremony, Bryson Scott and Brooke Patterson, as they walk out, Bryson Scott and Brooke Scott, husband and wife, I pray on behalf of both families that you would bless them in the new journey. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for your awesome guidance in this marriage. In Jesus' name, amen. Do you, Bryson, in the presence of God, all your friends and family, promise to love and to cherish in sickness and in health, in the good days and bad days, this woman whose right hand you now hold, and do you promise to be to her in all things, a loving and faithful husband, as long as life shall last. I do. Do you take Brooke to be your lawful wedded wife as long as you both shall live? I do. To you, Brooke. To you, Brooke, in the presence of God and all of your friends and family, also promise to love and cherish in sickness and in health, in good days and bad days, this man who holds your right hand, and do you promise to be to him in all things a loving and faithful wife and to cling to him and him only as long as you live? Brooke, do you take him to be your lawfully wedded husband as long as you both shall live? I do. Bryson and Brooke, having pledged your faith in him and your love towards one another and having sealed your solemn 
marital vows by the giving and the receiving of the wedding bands. Acting by the authority that has been given to me by the laws of this state, but more of all, most of all from heaven above. It is a privilege now to pronounce you two, husband and wife. Bryson. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you for the very first time, Mr. Thank you.